for the glory of God and the firmament declare his handiworks. The day on today calls for speech and night on tonight declares knowledge. It is another beautiful Sunday afternoon and we warmly welcome you to the uh, sixth preliminary set 2024 championship of GBC's What Do You Know, which is the longest running quiz competition in the country. And my name is Abraham Donko. I'm sitting in for your regular quiz master, Mr. Dan Afari Yabua. Now, uh, before we uh, go into the whole uh, enterprise, uh, joining us in the studio are students from the University of Education, Winneba, UEW, in attendance, executives of the Association of Integrated Science Education Students, AISES, led by Pumba Nasamba Imano, who is the president. Please a round of applause to the audience right here. <laughs> Natali Mesa, former president. Please a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And other executives. Now, uh, we're also uh, going out to uh, best wishes to Mr. Godwin Francis Asari uh, in the upcoming UEUWSRC presidential elections. Also to Dorcas Kachapo, new president, UEW, and uh, Lilian Ajo Tufa. SRC General Secretary Hopeful. Uh, thank you. And also, uh, there's a uh, dedication uh, coming from uh, uh, a happy birthday to Madame Esther Jifa Venato of the Ola Senior High School in Ho, in the Volta region, of course. May the Almighty Lord bless you and grant you all your heart desires as you celebrate this special day. Dedication sent to you from your father, Victor Venato of Little Group of Accra. Please a round of applause once again. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. And uh, as tradition demands, let's get acquainted with our uh, <laughs> contestants from today. So uh, we will start from my left. Contestants, please introduce yourselves. Okay. My name is Angelo Adorolo, a student at the University of Ghana. Daniel in the University, a uh, student of the University of Education, Unibar, and a resident of Sakumani. <laughs> and I am George Vanato, Little Group, Accra. <laughs> Isaac Okunam, a student of the University of Ghana, a resident of Aboba Assemblies, John Lakabogun. <laughs> well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we with the permission of our producers, we we'll now bring you uh, questions we pose from archaeology to zoology, as you all know, <laughs> and are well acquainted with. Mm -hmm. So with the permission of my producer, we will begin the whole kabudu uh, with round one. Now let's start from you, Angelo Ajololo. Now listen with rapt attention. William Booth was born in a relatively in relative poverty in nineteen a suburb a suburb of Nottingham in England. His parents were not religious at best laboring class and with little education. His father died when William was just fourteen. By the time William was helping earn the family income as a pawnbroker's apprentice. Which religious organization did William Booth found in nineteen sixty five? He founded a religious organization. Which one is in contention here? William Booth, B O O T H. I'm afraid <laughs> I can't give you that. Stephen. The religion is Salvation Army. Salvation Army, indeed, it is. Salvation Army. <laughs> Salvation Army. Now, Stephen, this is, this is for you. Until the 13th, of March 1998, the Sikhs used a Hindu lunar calendar to determine their feast days. They now use their own Nanashaki calendar. How many months are there in the Sikh calendar? How many months? Twelve months. Twelve indeed. Twelve months indeed. <laughs> Twelve months. Twelve months. Now, George, this is for you. The Philistines were an ancient people who lived on the south coast of Canaan from the 12th century BC until 604 BC when their polity, after having already been subjugated for centuries by the new Assyrian Empire, was finally destroyed by King 
Nebuchadnezzar. I, I know, I hope you know Nebuchadnezzar very well. The second of the Neo Babylonian Empire. Name the God of the Philistines in the Old Testament whose name meant Lord of Flies. Lord of Flies. Flies, as you know, are normal flies, as in F L I E S. Lord of Flies. There you go. No? Isaac. Sabu. I'm afraid not. Angel. Dagon. Not Dagon. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> <Don't like me. laughs> no, the, the, the right answer here is Belzebub. Belzebub. <laughs> Belzebub. Now, I still on you, George. Yeah, yeah. Now, George, King David in the Old Testament had Zeruiah, Eliab, Nathaniel, Abigail, Ozim, Shimea, Radai, Abdinadab, as siblings. If Jesse was his father, who was David's mother? Who was King David's mother? Is it Abigail? Abigail? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isaac? Isaac is as a loss. <laughs> Isaac, I doubt you know the answer. <laughs> Angelo? No idea. Stephen? Leah. Leah. No, Leah. Oh, well. Uh, the answer is Netzebet or Netzebet as in N I T Z E V E T Netzebet Netzebet. So that was the mother of David and, and, and the Bible, of course. Now, still on you, George. Which Indian religion was founded by Guru Nayak? Guru Nayak G U R U N A Y A K Guru Nayak Hindu. No, not Hindu. Buddha. Shintoism. Is that really not? <laughs> Isaac. Shintoism. Not Shintoism. Angelo. Shikizi. Come again. Shikizi. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. <laughs> Shikizim was founded by Guru Nayak in India. Now, Angelo, for three points. George Weir. You know George Weir? Yeah, I know George Weir. <laughs> George Weir has lived a life in three acts. It has, it, has seen, it has seen him move from a childhood in the slums of the capital Monrovia to Europe's most famous football pitches and later president of Liberia. Mr. Weir's life changed forever when aged 21 as a Wenger spotted him playing for a team in Cameroon. The manager brought him over to Europe where he played for teams including AS Monaco. Messi won other teams George Weah played for in Europe. And this one, all the contestants are liberty to name one each. So let me begin with you, Angelo. Okay. Paris Saint-Germain. Yes, indeed, Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain. <laughs> Steven. Marcel. Olympic Marseille. Yes. We represented Olympic Marseille. George. AC Roma. Come again. AC Roma. No. Chelsea. Chelsea? No. Yes, they did. They did. They did play for Chelsea. <laughs> 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 did for Chelsea. <laughs> Isaac. AC Milan. AC Milan. AC Milan. A famous AC Milan. Now, let, let's get back to you, Angelo. Angelo. Now, in, in literature, Similes are figurative expressions which assist to vividly paint a picture of an image or subject. For example, as blind as a bat. You are to complete the following. So that's a preamble to all of you. Now, Angelo, as harmless as as a sheep. No. Another opportunity beckons. <laughs> no. Stephen. A puppy. A, a puppy. No. George. I said baby. Certainly not. <laughs> I think. A fly. Not a fly. 
Well, as harmless as a dove. You almost had it, but you were looking for a specific answer. <laughs> so back to you, Angelo. Yes, back to you, Angelo. Yes. As obedient as, as obedient as, as a baby. Not a baby. As obedient as, as a baby. As a baby. No. Stephen. Puppet. Puppet. As obedient as a puppet. As obedient as a puppet. Now, Stephen, as patient as, as patient as, as patient as, a mother. No, not a mother. Another opportunity. As patient as, George. As a doctor. Not a doctor. <laughs> as patient as, I think a snake. Not a snake. <laughs> I like your answer, sir. <laughs> Angelo, is your turn now? Yeah. Yes. As patient as a mountain. Not a mountain. <laughs> you knew what I did we say. <laughs> as patient as Joe. Stephen was just whispering it. He knew it, but he blew the chance. As patient as Joe. As patient as so you hear Joe the patient. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Now uh, we are on uh, Angelo, right? Stephen, no, Stephen. Yes. Stephen, as devoted as? As a mother. Surely, as devoted as a mother. <laughs> as devoted as a mother. Now, George, it's your turn for three. I'm going to mention a word, and, you, and your duty will be to spell it. So I will give each of you a word for you to spell. So listen with rapt attention. Now, and this one is not transferable. So if you miss it, we'll give each of you words to spell. So, George, force majeure. Force majeure. Force majeure. Yes. F O R C E majeure. M A J E U R E. Certainly, he has it. It's F O R C E L A J E U R E force majeure or force majeure if you would. Now um I think my biblical son Posity Posity Let me give you a clue the presence of something in only small amounts Posity 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 Yes P A U S I T Y. Certainly. A round of applause for him. <laughs> yes, positive. P A P A U. Well, Isaac, second chance, come again. Positive. <laughs> Please. P A U. Yes. The first time you said P A U S I T Y. You have another opportunity. P A U double S I T Y. No, 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 no. It is P A U C I T Y. P A U C I T Y. And that is the presence of something in only small amounts. Now, Angel. Convalis. Convalis. That is recovering from illness. Convalis. C O N V A L E X. Please come again. You have another opportunity to redeem yourself. C O N V A L E X. You, you, you didn't get it. The spelling is C O N V A L E S C E. Convalis. C O N V A L E S C E. Convalis, recovering from illness. Now, Stephen, insouciant, that is casually unconcerned. Casually unconcerned. Insouciant. I N S O T I E N T. Another opportunity. 
I N S O C I E N T. Oh la la. <laughs> Insouciant is spelled I N S O U C I A N T. I N S O U C I A N T. And with that, we come to the end of the first round. Yes. Star 712 hash. Luck is everywhere. For everyone. Luck will happen. It's my missing opportunity to be the luckiest. <laughs> it's time to put some smile on your face. Still asking what luck means? At luckiest, we believe it's more than just chance. It's joy waiting to happen. Let's go. Dial star 712 hash. So I thought ticket you as a group, individual, and as a community, now participating in the luckiest from the 1st of July, 2024. Grand Raw near 30th November, 2024. Luck is everywhere with the luckiest. The luckiest is regulated by the NLA on the Caritas platform and is not for persons below 18 years. Terms and conditions apply. Nominations are now open for the 8th edition of the prestigious Ghana Energy Awards until August 30th. Under the theme, the role of local content in building Ghana's energy sector. Categories for this year include the Energy Personality of the Year, CEO of the Year, Visionary Leadership Award, Local Content Legacy Achievement Award, Energy Company of the Year, Local Content Leadership Impact Award, Energy Think Tank of the Year, Rising Star, Energy Reporter of the Year, and many more. Visit www.ghanaenergy.com energyawards.com to nominate today. The Ghana Energy Awards is endorsed by the Ministry of Energy and the World Energy Council Ghana. Validation is done by Forbes Mazars Ghana. Media Partners, GTV, Unique FM, Radio Ghana. It's yet another grand edition of the most coveted award platform in Ghana's energy sector. For sponsorship inquiries, please call 030-3940-300. Ghana Energy Awards. Eight years of redefining excellence. Excellent. At the end of the first round of today's Ford Dino Quiz program, Azikweku Nam of the University of Ghana, Legon, has three points. Ajolu Angelu, also of the University of Ghana, Legon, has four points. George Vinata from Little Group Accra, six points. The lead is Stephen Gadiko of University of Education Winneba with 11 points. Thank you very much, and with all set, with the permission of my producer, we zoom into the second round. And uh, Stephen, we come to you now. Name this personality who, in 1988, became the first woman elected to govern the Muslim nation. The first woman elected to govern the Muslim nation in 1988. Who is this persona in contention? <laughs> Crack the brain, <laughs> Stephen. Please pass it on. Well, George. Yes. Well, George, I thought you for a moment were calculating the name. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac. Pass. Angelo. Pass. Well, <laughs> this is an interesting name. You do know, but perhaps. <laughs> the name is Benazir Bhutto. Oh, Benazir Bhutto. Bhutto. <laughs> of Pakistan. She was assassinated a few years ago. Yes, Benazir Bhutto. Now, still on you, George. Uh, Stephen, please pardon me. Stephen, now, what is the capital of Guyana? G U Y A N A. Guyana, its capital. <laughs> George, the capital is Guyana. No, no, no. <laughs> Isaac, Tbilisi. Where? T 
Tbilisi. Tbilisi is the capital of <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> Georgetown. Georgetown. <laughs> Georgetown. <laughs> it's not Tbilisi. Tbilisi is in Georgia. <laughs> now, uh, Angelo, pedology is defined as the science that studies the genesis, nature, distribution, and the use of potentiality of certain resources. Of what is pedology, the study? Let me spell it for you. P-E-O-D-L-O-G-Y. Pedology. P-E-O-D-L-O-G-Y. What is what is this science all about? Yes. Stephen. Study of soil. Study of soil. <laughs> and a study of soil. <laughs> now Stephen, this is for you. Listen carefully. Poison in biochemistry is a substance, natural or synthetic that causes damage to living tissues and has an injurious or fatal effect on the body, whether it is ingested, inhaled, or absorbed or injected through the skin. Which poison is represented by the letters CN, capital C and a small n? CN, which poison is that? Yes, cyanin. Come again, cyanin. Are you asking? That's a cyanide. <laughs> Indeed, they have it. <laughs> cyanide, cyanide. <laughs> as in, as in C-Y-A-N-I-D-E, cyanide. Yes. So, we move to George now. George, name the branch of mathematics that uses symbols to represent symbols. <laughs> Please come again. <laughs> the branch of mathematics that uses symbols to represent unknown symbols. Please pardon me, unknown symbols. It uses symbols to represent unknown symbols. Is it algebra? Is it a question or are you answering me? <laughs> it is indeed algebra. <laughs> it is indeed algebra. <laughs> George, I'm doing the, 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 the questioning. So <laughs> you look, it, it sounded as if you were asking me uh, I could as well also provide you an answer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Another round of applause for him. <laughs> Isaac, I am any large system of winds that circulate about a center of low atmospheric pressure in the counterclockwise direction north of the equator and in a clockwise direction to the south. My kind move across nearly all regions of the earth except the equatorial belt and are generally associated with rain or snow. Also occurring in much the same areas are many other kinds wind systems that rotate about a high pressure center. Who am I? Who am I? Angelo. Steven. Cyclone. Cyclone! Indeed, it is cyclone. <laughs> well, I mean, I well, I mean, <laughs> cyclone Steven. You know, these elements, they give them names, so perhaps <laughs> we give you cyclone Steven. Well, Steven, the, 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 this is for you. It's, it's also another lengthy one. I am a violently rotating column of air that is in contact with both the surface of the earth and the columnus cloud or in rare cases the base of a columnus cloud i am often referred to as a twister whirlwind or cyclone although the word cyclone is used in meteorology to name a weather system with a low pressure area in the center around which from an observer looking downward the surface of the earth winds blow counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere I come in many shapes and sizes. I'm often visible in the form of condensation, funnel, originating from the base of cumulonimbus cloud, 
with a cloud of rotating debris and dust beneath it. Okay. Who am I? Tsunami. Not tsunami. Hurricane. Not hurricane. George. Nice. Isaac. Dust. Angel. Not a matter. <laughs> do you know, do you know that the nickname of the former captain of the Black Stars? Still not here? Tornado! Tornado! <laughs> Tornado! <laughs> Tornado! <laughs> George, <laughs> still on you. <laughs> oh, Stephen, sorry, Stephen, yes. I am a type of storm. I form over tropical or subtropical waters and originate in the Atlantic Basin which includes the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, the Eastern North Pacific Ocean, and less frequently, the Central North Pacific Ocean. Who am I? Tsunami. Not tsunami. Hurricane. Hurricane! <laughs> Hurricane Stephen. <laughs> George. I am a warm, humid wind occurring over the northern Mediterranean Sea and southern Europe, where I blow from the south or southwest and bring uncomfortably humid air. I am produced on the east sides of low pressure centers that travel eastward over the southern Mediterranean. Who am I? Tsunami. I'm afraid not. <laughs> George, think hard. Isaac. Yeah, my time. No, my time. Adam. Stephen. South Monsoon Wind. <laughs> this one, the Apostle Web. <laughs> it is known as Siroku. As in our Siroku, as some may call it. It's S I R O C C O. That is what we're looking for. So I guess we're still on George. Yes, George. Um, what is the innermost planet of the solar system? Innermost planet of the solar system. Innermost planet. Mars. Not Mars. Jupiter. I beg you. <laughs> Isaac. Mercury. Mercury indeed it is. Mercury indeed it is. <laughs> Mercury is the innermost uh, planet within the solar system. Now, Isaac, provide the other name of phenol as a type of acid. Phenol spelled P H E N O L. P H E N O L. Phenol. It's a type of acid. What other name can you provide for it? Angelo. No, no. Stephen. <laughs> George. It's not alcohol. It's not alcohol. <laughs> this, is, this is not, this is not eternal. <laughs> it is named as carbonic acid. You know it. Carbonic acid. So take note. Phenol, the other name is carbonic acid. Still on Isaac. Isaac. Name the small flap that prevents food and fluid from entering the windpipe. There's a small flap that prevents food and fluid from entering the windpipe. What is the name of that flap? Angel. Stephen. A pig lotus. Oh, oh la la. Epiglottis. <laughs> it is spelled E P I G L O T T I S. E P I G L O T T I S. And with that, we end round two. August, a couple 28 August, a high satisfaction direct promo. A nine days pet.
morning. It's a good morning. And we serve you breakfast. Not just any breakfast. Fizzling healthy. A la carte. And there's much more on offer on Chi TV Breakfast. So what's your pleasure? Dan Votras here at that time of the morning. You want it served buffet style, complimentary breakfast, on-site restaurant, or room service. We've got you covered. From Monday to Friday at 6 a.m. With a trusted team. So never skip breakfast. On GTV Breakfast. At the end of the second round, Azikokunam has four points. Angelo Angelo has five points. George Veneto has nine points. Still in the lead is Steven Gadiko with 20 points. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Announcer. And now uh, we now go into the third round and the final, of course, of this competition. So, good luck to all of you. And uh, we start with um, Stephen. Stephen, one here with the Piglutis answer. <laughs> now, Stephen, in which constellation are the stars Castor? And Polax, as in C A S T O R and P O L L U X, Castor and Polax. In which constellation are these? Milky Way. Not in the Milky Way. Andromeda. No. George. Galaxies. No. Isaac. Angelo. The answer here we're requiring is Gemini. Or oh, the Americans who say Gemini. <laughs> Gemini as in G-E-M-I-N-I. -I. So we're still on Stephen. Stephen, that's a, a pretty tricky one. Chess is a board game played between two players. It is sometimes called Western chess or international chess to distinguish it from related games such as Shanki or Shogi. These are Chinese words. Eh? So if I don't get the pronunciation right, please pardon me. <laughs> The current form of the game emerged in Southern Europe during the second half of the 15th century after evolving from uh, Shataranga, a similar but much older game in Indian origin. Today, chess is one of the world's most popular games played by millions of people worldwide. How many pieces does a player start a game of chess with? How many pieces? Eleven. Not eleven. Twenty-two. <laughs> Over the bar. George. Nine. Not nine. Isaac. Fourteen. Certainly not. Angelo. Twelve. No. <laughs> the answer I'm looking for is sixteen one six. Sixteen one six. So, back to Stephen. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system, being larger than only Mercury. In English, Mars carries the name of the Roman god of war. How many moons has Mars? Two. Please give it up for me, ladies and gentlemen. Mars has two moons. Mars has two moons. George. If you are hypernesia, what would you be good at? Let me spell the hypernesia for you. H-I-P-E-R-M-N-E-S-I-A. Hypernesia. H-Y-P-E-R-M-N-E-S-I-A. If you are good at that, what would you be good at? Isaac. Okay, George. Hypernesia. Isaac. Swimming. No swimming. <laughs> I'm enthused with the answer. Angelo. Reading. No reading. Stephen. 
writing. <laughs> it's certainly not writing. <laughs> <laughs> See, with this one, it was guesswork. <laughs> George, <laughs> okay, we well, from you. You will be good at remembering or recollection. Remembering or recollection. Yes. So, still with you, George. George, are you a football fanatic? Or so, somehow. 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 Okay. <laughs> then, then this one, this one <laughs> will be suitable for you. Which country won the 1970 World Cup? Which country won the 1970 World Cup? 1970. Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, it. <laughs> that was the famous uh, Pele's third World Cup. Yes, as, as I do recollect, 1970. <laughs> now, um, Isaac, this one you have to do some writing. So listen with rapt attention, okay? You have to rewrite the following letters, okay? And, and tell me what you have, then we'll cross-check, okay? So, we write Y-A-O-O-R-R-T. Y-A-O-O-R-R-T. To form the correct word to mean the art or practice of formal public speaking. The art or practice of formal public speaking. That's your clue. Angelo. Steven. Oratory. Oh, 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 la la, he's there. <laughs> Oratory. <laughs> Oratory. <laughs> Now, Stephen, <laughs> this is for you. You're also doing some spelling, so all of you can also take note and take advantage, of course. Now, rewrite the following. E-U-U-Q-B-R-S. E-U-U-Q-B-R-S. To form the correct word to mean abrupt or offhand abrupt or offhand brax come again brax he's right brax <laughs> brax as in b r u s q u e b r u s q u e brax now, George, we write the following. I O O U U C S S N C P I O O U U C S S N C P to form the correct word to mean clearly visible. Clearly visible. Clearly visible. Succinct. I can't accept that. <laughs> Isaac. Angelo. Steven. Conspicuous. Oh my goodness, he's there. <laughs> Conspicuous! <laughs> Conspicuous! <laughs> now, um, Stephen, Greenland is an island and has an area of uh, 2,130,800 square kilometers or 822,700 square miles. I am now going to mention four islands in no particular order and you should arrange them from the largest to the smallest. From the largest to the smallest. I begin. Madagascar, Great Britain, Victoria Island, South Island, or New Zealand, if you would. Madagascar, Great Britain, Victoria Island, and South Island, or New Zealand, from the, the largest to the smallest. 
New Zealand, Great Britain, Madagascar, and Victoria? Absolutely not. <laughs> Come again. George. Great Britain, New Zealand, Victoria Island, Madagascar. I won't accept that either. Isaac. New Zealand, Madagascar, Victoria and Great Britain. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, Angelo. New Zealand, Great Britain, Madagascar and Victoria. No. Unfortunately, uh, what we were looking for, uh, listen carefully, from from the largest to the smallest. So we have Madagascar, Great Britain, Victoria Island, and South Island, or New Zealand. So if we start the thing without mentioning Madagascar, then <laughs> we were already dead. <laughs> yes. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And on that note, we come to the end of uh, the competition. It's a good morning, and we serve you breakfast. Not just any breakfast. Sizzling healthy. And there's much more on offer on Chi TV Breakfast. So what's your pleasure? Than votras yet at that time of the morning. You want it served? Buffet style. Complimentary breakfast. On-site restaurant. Or room service. We've got you covered. From Monday to Friday at 6 a.m. With a trusted team. So never skip breakfast. On Chi TV Breakfast. Kamala, <laughs> She ke karfafa inga tachiyarun sa teling aziki da kuma karfafa al adun gargajiya Waka ke abuna kwa beke biye e niyawa Ke ofiya mwa ke opa biya bawe ni ni awele Ka abuye ya uni sana agwe abagule Ke vitamin e uni sana agwe sani ahale Jujo baru doko kodi ya katwe E nyaiba anga uha na mona chishipo Iga chidodo vanea Watang atuangau azunubu buwe. Sukuru nima yako yako buke ya juu. Nama rani vizukuru nila bara. Oke umu debi ya madungu ane. Eh bawa ya. Oke. Eh agreke nima le mungo kwe ne. Eboni jiman. Eboni jiman. Eh maya le yade nima ane. Adult education. Showing from Monday to Saturday at 5 p.m. Only on GTV. Round of today's four day local program as the Kokunam of the University of Ghana, Legon, had four points. Angelo, Angelo, also of the University of Ghana, Legon, had five points. George Veneto, Little Book Accra, came with 12 points. And then finally, Stephen Gadiko of the University of Education, Muniba, topped with 28 points. Thank you very, very, very much, gentlemen. Uh,
congratulations to all of you those uh, one one emerged victorious steven congratulations to you and also uh, your fellow contestants hard luck uh, good now uh, so better luck next time and so this is where we come to the end of the program and then we have all francis excellence i can see our francis tetado collins mesa samuel logo crystal light and crown felicity abivia they said in a mesa don't probably be otu and william akwesi aqua my name is abraham donko and uh hopefully uh, mr fireball will join you next week and uh until next week when we bring you questions from archaeology to zoology and we say may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord lift his countenance upon you and bless you with perfect peace and until next week when we come your way again it is bye for now it is what 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 do you know <laughs>